Hey Joharis, um, thanks for submitting your work. It's, it was pretty late, but it's all right. Um, what I saw was quite interesting, you see, because it's 13 minutes long, so I decided to watch it in advance. Then now I'm just giving you a little bit more feedback. So here goes. So um, when let me just mute this and uh, yeah, there you go. Now this this guy, uh, what's his name? Is there a name? I think there was a name. So believe is really about. Yeah, Zubay Mohammed, National Air Rifle Shooter. I'm, I'm really, really um, impressed that you managed to interview a national an athlete. Uh, but he's into the air rifle shooter. I think this is really fantastic. And uh, what, what he was talking about, his trials and, and how he, he was successful through failures and all this is really inspiring. Um, this individuals are, are really amazing. So... I'm I'm really surprised and I'm really impressed at the same time that you managed to 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 get these individuals. Um, then this and all this footage you filming his um, all this footage is equally impressive. Him him uh, like f using his rifles. You know, getting where is that? Yeah, this kind of footage, this kind of thing. This is this is fantastic. Yeah, I wish I wish you could zoom up to the target practice, and you could I could see more of that. And all all these these are very important important footage because it does show uh, the reality of of this sport. Um, then the other individual. Yeah, this is excellent too. You know all that. You can actually see see um, you basically managed to capture, and the fact that you managed to get in there, they gave you permission to shoot all this. This is really good as well, and yeah. And what about him? Um, this person who has, you know, um, a diabetes survivor. I would say level four di diabetes, and he will not. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't believe in quitting. This is also very inspiring because diabetes is a very, very, um, uh, very dangerous kind of disease. It's also hereditary and, and all that. So, sugar level drops too low or this goes too high and just need to know what to do and stuff like that. I mean, it's tough because uh, people in my industry, we, we have a really odd timing for, for work and stuff like that. Uh, we finish work at 10, 11, and 9, sometimes even later. So. Meals can, can be a bit regular, but you know, as long as you know how to adapt, it's fine. Mm, not really, la. I mean, the, the more people know about the illness that you have, the better it is for you. I mean, well, why do you want to keep everything to yourself, you know? If somebody knows that you are suffering from a condition, uh, it's better. So that in case anything happens to you when you're with them, they know what to do. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, just as long as you think positive, la, you know? Uh, there's a lot better in life. There's, a, there's always a silver lining behind everything, la, you know? Yeah, so he's constantly talk. He's talking like a survivor, and and um, listening to him, he's very spontaneous and very down to earth about his struggles, and that that can be very inspiring for others who's watching this. But it's a little bit long. I think uh, maybe could have advised the the interviewees, the um, or could have asked them sp very very a much more simplified question, so their answers will not be too lengthy. Yeah. Yeah, because it is different between interviewing them for information for um, from for data, um, if, if interviewing interviewing them for research purposes, and that's that's a whole different story altogether. But it's not so much of a research; it's more like more like um, information, getting to know them, sort of thing. You know, how did you do that, and whatever. You know, it's, you know, it's very important. So anyway. Um, the next one's also very interesting and entrepreneur. Business, uh, even when I studied college and all. Yeah, he, he started his own business, Optimist Coffee. I think I think this is also a very very good um, 
good sec good part of this this video, but it's just a long, a, a, it's very lengthy. It's very lengthy, and it's. Um, I think you didn't have to ask way too many questions. I like the fact that you're in between these. Uh, you show some of him him making coffee, uh, how he does all that. That's that's very important. Me that, oh, you can look for money yeah. first. Let's go to insurance industry. You know, we can do property. So you can do MLM, direct selling. Yeah, good. So, so I think I think the editing could have been done better in terms of that. You know, in terms of how you what footage you plan to put in, things like that. Um, because t I just needed a five minute documentary. You didn't have to have a thirteen minute documentary. But you might might have thought if you were there, you might have thought that all this information was important. So that's the thing. That's the trap that sometimes you get you get uh, into you fall into so it, it's fine you know um, so Joe um, good job I think it's fantastic if you you were there at all these places and you were doing it on your own well you see that's the thing I have a bit trouble convinced about that um, the reason why I'm saying it because towards the end there's no end, end credits uh, it just stopped you have you have these words and then it just stopped then there's, there's no credits. It doesn't doesn't tell you which location you went to, um, thanks to who and 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 uh, names of the people who were involved in. You must have had help. I mean, I do, if you did it all hundred percent on your own, then you can just mention it. You know, um, like foot uh, camera work, whatever, whatever by yourself. And end credits is so important in any kind of video. Um, some some video documentaries have lots of they're very famous. People who make them are very famous, and and um, they have plenty plenty of information about how they do it because you, you can also see the filmmakers themselves in it. There'll be footage of the or the filmmakers themselves, the people who do the documentary, the footage of them in it as well. Um, one of the reasons why you put yourselves in it because to show the audience, uh, to convince the audience or to show the audience about your involvement. That's how the that's how the industry is like, you know. Um, you if you constantly never show yourself in the audience, the audience wouldn't have known who did it, you know. Um, so there has to be something there. Documentaries are very unique kind of, um, you know, they are very unique kind of videos, because they're just information, but information is. Though it's free in this world, but people will always ask, questioning. People will always believe in questioning and asking, where did this information come from? Who did it? You know, um, and all that. So that's why end credits are very important. Always credit uh, this and that, this and that. Uh, if you don't put the end credits, then someone who's going to watch this, someone's going then's going to email you and say, hey, look, I put the exact same footage. Then da 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 debate. So better you put the end credits and then you can credit the person and whatever. So if they want to check any, authentic, you want to authenticate anything, they'll contact these people. Documentaries contain more more sensitive information than making a, um, a conventional fictional film. Because if you make a conventional fictional film, you can you can pretend, you can convert the place into something else. Nobody will recognize where that place is and whatever. It's... it's um, Different ball game altogether. Unless if your short film is about something factual, then yes, you know you got to get your facts right. So that's about it, Joe. Um, I hope that you could add some some of that here in your foot in your video, or alternatively, I could I could view your blog and yeah, there you go. But other than that, Joe, this is a very inspiring video. If you really sit down and listen to it, I think this is it. I think your idea to come up with something like that is great because we did talk about. Things like giving up and all that, and yeah, I'm kind of convinced that this is your idea, but I just need to see how you arrive at that. You know, arrive at all these places, add the end credits, and add I mean, add all this information in your blog, some photograph of yourself, whatever, anything, anything that you can explain. How did you arrive at this visually? Because you are in a design program, and everything has to be visual evidence, sort of thing. Yeah. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Then uh, look forward to see your amendments. If not, just have it on your blog. It'll be great. So good job there.